one of the best racetracks in the world, Bristol Motor Speedway. Hello everyone, welcome to another adventure of Jaws Jr. And where am I at today? Well, I'm at the home of Bristol Motor Speedway in Bristol, Tennessee. So we're going to take a minute, we're going to go in through uh, the gift shop and I don't know if we're going to get a tour of inside the track, but it'll be fun if we can. But uh, we'll just give it a shot, see what we can do here and uh, have you guys come along for the ride. So sit back, relax and watch to see what I come up with. Talk to you soon. So what's going on here with this? So this is going to be Colossus TV. Okay. Um, if you look at the side of the building here, yeah, that's how big one screen's going to be, and there's going to be it's going to be four sided. Oh wow. Um, you'll see when we go inside what the old screen is. Yeah. And the comparison, um, it's going to be a four sided suspended TV. Wow. Thank you. So is that uh, system going to be centrally mounted in here? It's it's going to suspend from these what they're putting in. Oh, okay, so it'll hang right over the middle here. Mm -hmm. So it'll be ready for what the March race, the spring race? Uh, it'll be in, in April, yeah. Race okay. April. This is cool. It is. It'll, uh, I've been to the Martinsville Speedway too, and it looks totally different on TV than it does in person. Mm -hmm. But this place is still impressive. Yeah. It's amazing that they're running around that track 120 miles an hour. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you can't even really tell how steep it is up from uh -huh. up here. But the, all of this in the middle, um, that's the, the score tower and everything, that's coming down. Okay. And then the TV is going to be suspended over into the middle there. Okay. Um, so where it said old screen, just under where it says Aaron and Sprint Vision, yeah. that's how big the other screen was. Not where it said old screen on that out here. And so that thing's going to be four times the size of it cubed. Yes. It's going to be huge. <laughs> it's going to be the largest one at a sporting venue. I, I'm still amazed that they can fit all the haulers and everything else they need down here. And they come in um, over here in this corner where the, the fence is open. Yeah. That's the only entrance with a vehicle on yeah. the track. Okay. So the haulers come in that way. They all come in and they come around and then they come in and park. And if you're ever here for an August race on Thursday, they have what's called the transporter parade. Yeah, I've heard and about that. Yeah. That's when you can, they actually will open up one of the gates and you can sit in here and watch them park. That's, uh, that's the race I want to come to, yes. the one under the lights. <laughs> but I'd be happy to come into the spring race too. Yeah. Now, how full was it for uh, the football game here? 
So the football game is actually going to happen in September. Okay. We've not had it yet. Yeah, I've not had it yet. Okay. Right. Um, but so you can see the layout of what it'll, the field will look like inside. Yeah. And of course, I, I'm not sure what all regulations and stuff they're going to have with building it up and the turf and everything like that. But so with so with the suspended mm -hmm. uh, system, they can do it now. Yes. That's just that's just too cool. It's going to be uh, college football's largest football event because our stadium holds just over 150,000 people. Well, Tennessee carries uh, their fans very well, don't yes. they? Yes, <laughs> sure do. Wow. No, at least I can say I've been here. Yeah, I travel a lot anyway, so I try to stop at every track I can. Because yeah. on the West Coast, I've been in Fontana, I've been at Vegas, uh, then been down at Atlanta, Motor Speedway, been to Kentucky, been to Martinsville, uh, Darling Darlington was fun. Mm -hmm. Because they let me walk right out on the track, and yeah. and they have a se area sectioned off that's just for people to walk out on the track, and that was really cool. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, usually if we do the tours, mm -hmm. we'll, we can take you down. Uh, usually they let us do three laps around the track with you, um, and we take you up on the Victory Lane, which is on top of the building. Yeah, I see the Victory Lane down there. And yeah, we can take you up there and usually do pictures and stuff. They used to let you walk on the track, um, but with it being so steep, there's a lot of safety concerns with that. So oh, I, I understand that, yeah, because you can't hardly stand on that track. Correct. <laughs> it's very steep. Mm -hmm. the large boat. Um, they, they had Speedway and Lights, which is, all of our money is donated to uh, Speedway Children's Charities. Everything raised from it, and it stays here in the area okay. for children's organizations. Very good. And they do a light show. It takes about an hour to go through it, but it's all over property. You drive through it, and then you kind of end here, mm -hmm. and you can do, they had a Christmas village set up. There's always something going on here. Always. <laughs> Well, thank you. You're I really appreciate the five minutes. <laughs> it doesn't take much to make me happy. Five minutes, that's, 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 that's good with me. As you can see, was able to get inside the track and take a look at one of the most exciting racetracks to watch a race. Uh, many memories of watching some of my favorite drivers here at this track, uh, such as Dale Earnhardt uh, Sr. and Terry Labonte. One particular race where Dale Earnhardt Sr. wrecked Taylor, Terry Labonte to win the race. That happened right here. Um, just lots of lots of fun memories of, of being a, a NASCAR fan, as strong as I used to be. And since I was so close to the area, we had to come here. Uh, it's just it was a fun place uh, for me to always watch watch it. It looks a lot different, though, in person than it does on TV. Uh, cannot believe how steep those embankments are for those uh, up in the corners and on the ends. So, just have to take another look here of everything that we've got. Despite it being only a half mile course, it is pretty big. And like you heard earlier that the total attendance is roughly 150,000 people. And in September, they're going to have the battle at Bristol, which is Virginia Tech in Tennessee on September 10th, 2016. So that's gonna be a fun game to watch. Although I don't support either one of those teams, just because of where it's at, it'll be a fun game to watch. So anyway, everybody, thank you for your time. Thank you for uh, sitting around watching this with me. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to come up here. 
got a lot more thing, places to go, pe uh, things to see here uh, where I'm at. Uh, got to go back down into Boone, North Carolina when we're done here and uh, show you around the Boone and, so, and what, whatever else that we decide to come up with. So until next time everybody, see ya!